Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can safely overclock your GPU in 2024. So if you guys are using a dedicated graphic card unit, then there are high chances that you're not using the maximum performance out of it. And for doing that, overclocking comes into the scene. If you guys want to safely overclock your graphic card without any damages, you are on the correct video and this is the only video that you need in 2024. Let's get started. Alright, so there will be two softwares that you're going to be needing to safely overclock your graphic card. First one being the MSI Afterburner to which you will find a link to download in the description below. The second one is the MSI Combustor. You can always get the latest version for both of them from the link in the description below. Now once you open up your MSI Afterburner, high chances are you're not going to look at the same screen just like me. So, to get your screen similar to this one, click on the gear option right over here and then you have to go to the last section which is the user interface. Then over here, you have to click on the skinning properties and then you have to choose the mystic afterburner. It will be in this list, so you have to select this skin and then simply click on apply. Now, this screen looks very very simple. Right over here, you have to see a few things. First one is your GPU, your memory, your volt and your temperature. If this is your first time using MSI Afterburner, do not change anything within the voltage. You have to play around with your core clock and your memory clock as well as your power limit. This whole process is very very specific of your GPU temperature because your temperature helps you to keep your GPU cool and safe. The hotter your GPU is, high chances are it's gonna crash and damage. You have to make sure that your GPU under any circumstances stays below 65 degrees Celsius. For me, it is 55 degrees while it is running idle and on recording. Now, there are two ways to overclock your GPU. First one is for users who are amateur and they do not really know how to overclock your GPU. You can simply click on this OC button, which will be the fourth button right over here. Simply click on that. And this one is the MSI overclocking scanner. This will automatically find the best overclocking settings for your graphic card. Once you simply click on the scan button. Once you click on the scan button, it will take up to 10 to 20 minutes to scan the best settings for your GPU. Once it is done, you will automatically find it applied to your core settings as well as your fan settings. However, if you manually want to overclock your GPU, you have to follow this one. Alright, now you will see your core clock and your memory clock. By default, it should be set to 0 and 0 respectively. If you see 0 over here, that means that your graphic card is not using any overclocks. First thing that you have to do over here is set your power limit and your temperature limit all the way to maximum and leave your fan speed to automatic. Next thing that you have to do is open up this K button that opens up combustor right in front of you. Now you have to drag your overclocking window right over here. Simply lower your resolution down. I recommend you guys to use 1024x768. Then simply click on run stress test. This will open up MSI combustor window. And as you guys can see right over here, it shows you the speed of rendering. It is showing 61 FPS right now. But what you have to do over here is for the post effects, click on none and the tessellation Click on 4x. This is the lowest setting on which you generally play most of your games on. And this is where you have to set your overclocks on. Right now, it gives me around 272 frames per second. Now, once again, you guys can see that your GPU temperature should always remain under 80 degrees whenever you are doing an overclock to your GPU. Right now, it is already reaching 70 degrees. Now, let us start with the first thing that is the speed. As you guys can see, it is currently 288 frames per second and we are always utilizing 100% of our GPU whenever we are doing the stress test. The GPU temperature and the GPU usage right over here is bugged out but I'm pretty sure OpenGL will do it with the next update. Now first thing first is the core clock. You have to start utilizing it with the increments of 20. Simply enter and then click on the apply button. Now you guys can see the FPS will boost up. If I set this thing to 40 and then click on the button. Now this will give me around 261 FPS. You guys can check on the top of the screen, 302 FPS max. If we do an increment by 60 and then click on this button, now we are reaching up to 265 FPS on the screen. Boost it again with 20 and now we are reaching 288 FPS on the peak. Make sure that your GPU temperature always remains under 80 degrees Celsius during this stress test. You do not want to overheat your graphic card that will indeed damage the life cycle of your graphic card. I still believe that we can go a little over 
so i will do 100 megahertz and then simply click on the apply button now it goes up to 286 fps and my gpu temperature is well 72 degrees celsius 288 on the max now i will leave my core clock to 100 megahertz i'm not gonna increase this because because increasing your core clock will increase your gpu temperature very quickly now let's begin with the memory clock start increasing it by the intervals of 20 simply apply and check the speed of your gpu 288 fps on the peak 289 now if i set this thing to 40 simply click on this apply button and now you guys can check the speed now it is 295 frames per second as you guys can see the gpu temperature is rising and so is the fan speed automatically rising with it now if i set the speed to 60 and if i click on apply now you guys can see the frames per second it is currently reaching 288 fps 286 if you give it a little more time it will go above 290 just like that 299 on the highest right now i will set this thing to 100 similar to my core clock now let's see how much fps are we touching now incrementing both of these values bit by bit will help you to reach the final limit of your graphic card once this limit is crossed your screen will go blank and your pc will reboot in safe mode don't worry, this is completely normal and the next time you open up your PC, simply open up your MSI afterburner and then you have to reduce that limit to 100 negative to the limit that your PC was shut down. That will be the safe limit of using your graphic card on the overclocks. But whenever you're playing the game, I highly recommend you guys to keep a difference of at least 200 megahertz because your graphic card is not uniformly used whenever you're playing the game. Same for the memory clock, you have to do the same. You have to leave at least 200 megahertz for your gaming. For me, the maximum core clock speed is around 140 and the memory clock is around 700. That is my limit. As you guys can see, on this limit, the screen is starting to stutter. In that case, you have to reduce this limit back to 100. Now it is all set. In this way, you're not going to damage your graphic card and you're going to sustain the life of your GPU. A very important note to your MSI afterburner. Once you have identified the best settings for your GPU, you have to click on this save button and then set this thing to a profile. So if you want to overclock your PC for any instance, you can simply click on this profile and it will automatically set your clock values instantly. However, I highly recommend you guys to leave a zero and zero right over here. Click on the tick mark, save this thing to profile number one, just in case you want to suddenly turn off all of your overclocks. You can simply click on this first button and it will set your overclocks back to zero. One more important setting is the windows button right over here. You have to make sure that this is blue. If it is not, you have to click on it. So afterburner starts up whenever you boot up your PC because this is really, really important. Once you're done with the afterburner, there are a few more steps that will help you to boost your graphic card performance. For that, you can download the GPU optimization pack from the link in the description below. This is completely free to download. First thing that you'll find over here is the GPU optimization registries in which you'll find simple registry files to disable your DVR, GPU energy driver, power throttling, increase your GPU's priority and improve your computer's power efficiency. You have to simply double click to run all of them and that will give you the best GPU performance. Next one is the PC optimization in which you'll find low mid and mid high optimization and to run any one of this you can leave your PC specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to pick from. Next is the MSI utility in which I have left the MSI utility v3 you have to right click and run this thing as an administrator. Then you have to locate your GPU right over here click on the MSI button right in front of it and from undefined set this thing to high and simply click on apply. This will set your GPU usage affinity to the highest level. Last is the memory optimization in which I have left a cache cleaner, right click and run this thing as an administrator and this will start removing all of the unwanted temporary files, cache files from your PC and it will make your memory free for gaming. So whenever you open up your game next time, you're gonna get a cleaner experience. Let this thing run in the background and you are done with the FPS pack right over there. So guys, I hope this guide would be helpful for your GPU overclocking. Let me know. Let me know if this helps you out and leave your PC specifications down in the comments below in case you want any help. You can also leave any other video queries. We have recently rolled channel membership. So if you guys want to show some support to the channel, you can always become a member. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.